Chances are, if you've been around WVU for very long, or you know people that have gone to WVU, you're familiar with the PRT, or WVU's Personal Rapid Transit. You may also be aware that the PRT does not always function properly and can be a source of frustration for students and faculty alike. I've heard some interesting stories, and I have a few of my own, but recently I had an experience with the PRT that I will never forget. On a sunny afternoon at the PRT station downtown, I started to board the PRT car to head to one of my classes on the Evansdale campus. Of course, the PRT is often very busy in the afternoon, and the car that I was in was very, very full. Shortly after our cramped car began to depart the station, our car came to a screeching halt, and everyone standing in the car did their best to not fall over into the seated people. It was immediately clear to all of us that something was wrong with the PRT, and we began to wonder how long we were going to be stuck. Next, the student closest to the intercom in our car reported that our car had stopped, and the maintenance crew voiced back over to us that they were aware that we were stuck and that someone was on their way to help us. After the maintenance person arrived, he very quickly determined that our particular car was not functional, and that was the reason that the whole PRT track was shut down. Now, I've been stuck on the PRT many times before, but this was the first time that I was in the actual car that was causing the problem. The maintenance person then joined us in our car and somehow managed to move our car down the track. However, instead of driving it to the Evansdale campus, we made a tour to what I'll refer to as the PRT Hospital. This is where WVU stores the PRT cars that need a little love and repair. The whole maintenance crew was there waiting for all 15 of us with big smiles, and they thanked us for our patience. Here, they helped us get back in a different functional PRT car and sent us back towards our original destination. I think at this point, all of us passengers had had enough of the PRT for one day. All in all, the delay wasn't very long, and the workers were very friendly. The folks in my car also kept a very positive attitude about the whole situation. Things didn't go according to plan, but we all kept calm, and no one got hurt. If you ever find yourself stuck in the PRT, remember that you can use the intercom to alert the workers if they don't say something to your car first. The maintenance workers are very friendly, and they will do their best to help you get back on track as quickly as possible. Also, remember that most professors are understanding of students being late to class because of the PRT, so don't feel stressed while you're waiting for the PRT to move again. Although I would not have chosen to spend my afternoon on a broken PRT car, I did get to go on an unexpected adventure. Sometimes our most unexpected troubles become our favorite stories to tell. I'm sure I'll never forget the day I got to visit the PRT hospital. We all made the best of a difficult situation, and everything turned out all right. While your country roads may not always be straight, at WVU, they will always get you to where you need to go.